Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Lee Ford from Tech in the Province. This will be a short video. Um, I will be showing the dashboard of the Oppo CPE T1, not the T1A, which is the newer version of this. And yeah, maybe we'll try to compare the Oppo T1 here and the Huawei CPE Pro 1, which is the H112372. Now, my area where I'm, I mean my location is quite can be considered a dead spot. It, I even have hard time sending SMS via my Samsung device, Samsung mobile device. Fortunately, it's still covered in the it's still covered by 5G, smart 5G, and for the background of everybody. In the Philippines, we currently have, I mean, the common ones. I'm not sure if there is already smart 5G SA, but we have here in the province of Bohol, it's 5G NSA, and I know that I'm currently connected to band N41. That's a 5G band N41. That's a TDD. So, mababa yung upload niya. Now, I've already made a uh, speed test here by fast.com. We'll do it again. Okay. So, 10, 15. The speed is really not bad considering I'm in a considered dead spot na area. So, yeah. Kung 4G lang to, siguro nasa mga 10 or 20 plus mahigit. But, as I've mentioned, the 5G signal is not consistent. It can go up high as 100 plus. And, yun na nga, mga 20 mahigit. So, let's take a quick look sa specs. SA and SA bands niya sa 5G N40, N41, N77, N78 so N78 I think meron to sa Manila not sure with sa mga provinces and as I've mentioned kanina N41 yung current band na connected so basically sa NSA embedded yung mga yung 5G uh, technology sa current na LTE or 4G na antenas. Yun. Also, etong T1, meron siyang external antena sa likod, saksakan for PS9. I haven't tried it. I'll just add a comment, probably in this video, kung kamusta ang signal kung lalagyan ko ng external antenna. I'm sorry sa background. I'm sorry sa background sa background ng aso. Alright. So, this is the Oppo uh, login page. Sign in. So this will be the home page. You can see here the signal indicator 5G merong signal. Ang problema natin dito with Oppo compare with other devices like Huawei. I also have a ZTE device which is the outdoor na ZTE that is the MC7010. Both the Huawei and uh, ZTE devices na 5G, meron silang ban locking. Ang Oppo, wala. Ang kinaganda sana neto, if we can lock the uh, makalock tayo ng band. 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 Makalock tayo ng band sa ating device. So, unfortunately, that is not possible, but that is for sure doable in the future pag merong uh, feature update so again this is the dashboard network settings see their settings you can lock for 
5G only at NSA and 4G only. So I've already set it to auto. In list Ethernet settings, usual Ethernet status, DHCP, DHCP server. Yan. Let's go to Wi Fi settings. There's basically not much here sa dashboard. You can configure the Wi Fi name here 5G, 5 gigahertz na Wi Fi. I have not changed it myself. The 5 giga, 2.4 gigahertz. So if your mobile device or yung magko connect dito sa 5G modem natin ay capable of 5 gigahertz. So mas better na sa 5 gigahertz. Although it has shorter na distance na pwedeng makover. So that's it. You can also hide the 5 giga. You can hide the Wi-Fi names or the SSID. You can also enable guest Wi-Fi. Yan, there's nothing much. Devices management, you can manage the devices that are currently connected. System settings. So here, checking for updates. We are currently in the uh, latest version that is CTA 02 underscore 11. Device info, nothing much. Hindi din natin makikita kung saan band tayo connected. As you can see here, only the cell ID. RSRP, SNLR, wala. PLMN. This is the network ID, which I'm using currently. Smart. Or the smart tracking team. Password management. This allows you to modify your device password. Reset, reset, re reset mo yung device. Logs, firewall, DMZ, virtual. Yun. So that's basically it. Why did I make this video? Good question. I've seen a comment dun sa 5G group sa Pilipinas na sana man daw merong gumawa ng video na nagpapakita sa dashboard ng OPPO. So, this is, ga this is, this is it guys. Yung dashboard ng OPPO. Let's do a final speed test again. Kung nag-improve ba. Actually, bumaba. <laughs> 16, 20, 21, 50. Okay, tumaas siya. 48. So, really, this is not bad. Kasi nga, consider did dead spot yung area ko. Again, guys, thank you for watching. This is Lee Ford. If you have any questions or inquiries related to 5G in the Philippines or 5G devices in the Philippines, 5G modems, comment down below. Or if you need one, I can probably find you one if you need an OPPO T1 device or a Huawei. Um, tawag na ito. Huawei 372. Okay, let's try. It. This is the speed speed test of our Oppo T1. Let's try to connect to uh tawag na ito, to our Huawei Huawei device. We have here the H112 372. I'm trying to connect now to the 5 gigahertz network. And the 5G indicator is turned on. Let's try to reload. Hopefully, it does better. Oops. We have some problem. It's stuck. It's stopped. Okay. Market siya. 30. 32. 25. 22. Mas mabagal siya, no? But, this is not... Um, oh, we can consider this a, a compa reason. Because they are like side by side lang. Ito, dalawang device. So, both devices have ban N41, 5G N41. I'm not sure why 
Pero para sa akin, they are the same lang yung performance. Although not sure with the speed test currently, si mas bababa yung Huawei. And the price of this Huawei mas mahal talaga siya, around twenty five thousand or twenty six thousand for brand new. And the Oppo T1 nasa mga nineteen or twenty thousand lang. So, that's something you need to consider. For the Huawei, you can do ban locking. Sa, yeah. For Huawei device, you can do ban locking. Meron tayong app na magagamit dyan, Huawei Manager. And for the Oppo, ay wala. Yun yung main difference nila. But as per capabilities, parehas naman sila maraming 5G bands na pwedeng masagap. Yun lang! Again, if you have any questions, just comment down below. Hit me on Facebook. That is Clifford Trigo. Until our next video.